kind of makes me feel so loved, guys. And like he pays attention to every little detail of my life. Like yesterday, I showed you guys my pictures of picture of Jesus carrying the cross. And let me tell you, this is a picture I brought all the way from Nigeria to the U.S. as my constant reminder that I'm going to joyfully carry the crosses that God has assigned to me. And I'm going to follow Jesus, is what I said in that video yesterday, that Jesus died 2,000 years ago, but I'm still following him today and just asking God, just like he did, to say, God, not my will, but your will. Let your will be done in my life. So after saying that yesterday to God, I go to have an appointment with God this morning. And it's my meditation book. He and I haven't read it in a long time. I've been reading my own book, which is Keep Calm. I need that reminder. Keep Calm, Nick. You're rolling with God that the battles don't belong to me. They belong to the Lord. So I get to just show up as my happiest, most peaceful, loving self and say, God, the hard part belongs to you. And so just after saying that I want to follow Jesus, he says this to me in the meditation book. And I'll just continue the, the parts that I think are for you guys to hear. He said, when he tries to draw nearer to me through sacrifice and effort, and that's all I've been doing, guys. I say, God, whatever I do, if I have to hold back some words, if I have to pretend I don't see what I have to see, if I have to be my most loving self, my most forgiving self, my most excellent self, my most merciful self, God, I'm offering that as a sacrifice to you. And he takes on a new likeness to me, which is Christ. A new likeness to Christ is what I'm trying to do here, guys. There are some who have faithfully imitated the gentle Christ. They have appeared in heaven like other Christ. What glory they bring with them. Each one of your thoughts and feelings and actions has its repercussions for good or evil. You guys got that? Each one of our thoughts and feelings and actions has its repercussion for either good or evil. These are great truths. Ponder them on my heart. Picture yourself always before my watchful eyes, my little girl. I follow you because I love you. You guys, so me saying I'm following Christ, and he's saying, showing up in this thing, he said, follow. There are some who have so faithfully imitated the gentle Christ, they have appeared in heaven like other Christ. And I just took that as me, guys. I said, I want to appear in heaven as another Christ. Just to say, God, this was your life. My life is a sacrifice to you. So all my words, all my actions, all my thoughts, everything belongs to you, God. And let me tell you guys, when you do that, it's like God just shows up for you. He's just guided my life on such a beautiful path. And I was out on the run today, even taking pictures of the duck poo to show my sister she was asking about it. And that's life. We're going to have some messy situations. We're going to have to deal it. We're going to have some tough times. We're going to have some challenges. We're going to have some tribulations to go through, guys. But like yesterday on that run, I stopped in the middle of the run and just said, God, I need to hear from you. And I was just reading my book, guys. And he just said, Nick, surrender the battles over to me. So that means that we're not going through life alone. God is on our side. We're going through like this with God as our constant companion. Yesterday, I had such a beautiful day with him. I had a bunch of running around to do. And he was just showing me little signs of his presence all over the place. And he just saying, Nick, I want you to enjoy this gorgeous life I've guided you to. And I said, God, yes, 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 yes. And I don't want you guys to miss out on the gorgeous life with him either. Just start looking to him, every thought, every word, every action. Let's make it pleasing to him that when we get to heaven, we'll be some other Christ too. That God, we did your will, whatever it was you asked us to do. Hashtag God's little superhero. That's where I want us, guys. Always looking to God, always seeking to please him. Every thought is either good or evil. But we're going to decide which one we want to go with. So I'm praying that we all go with the good. Let's be mini Christ out there for the world to see. I had the best time on my run singing in the rain again and dancing the Buja Bantam song, blessed. Say so eventually they will see who's watching over me. And that's my prayer for all of us, that people will see that God is the one watching out for us. Every quarter of a second, God, he's with us. Let's enjoy our lives. Give the hard parts of the battle over to him. 
And like my book says, keep calm. Keep calm. We're rolling with God. Peace.